quá xí hello cả đi giờ It's your boy, Musa, back with another vlog. Today is the 19th. It is a Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. I got a fresh gym, as you can see. Now we did a little bit of cardio this morning. It's only 15 minutes because I was kind of like a kind of a schedule in a tired situation. So I'm gonna do cardio later on. I might go for a walk in the evening. Have done my walks in like two weeks, literally since before I went to Istanbul, because I was ill before Istanbul and all that. Because so I haven't walked in a while, um, so maybe you need to start that up again. And it is getting extremely cold, but I like walking in the cold because you don't sweat, if that makes sense. Because you're you're cold, <laughs> so your body's not sweating. Yeah, I'll so go train chest and back today. Maybe with my brother, I messaged him because we also need to go IKEA to look around for stuff. Um, he's probably still sleeping. Maybe I think he had a night shift yesterday. But yeah, either way, I'm gonna wait for him to respond, and then obviously I'll let you guys know. But for now, I'm gonna sit here in my room, do my reaction videos because I am heading to London Thursday. So I need to make sure I have videos for when I'm in London to be scheduled and uploaded. Which means six videos, three to six videos every day. So I need to re and that's a week I'm going for London. I'm going from the 21st to 28th. So seven times three, that's 21. So I have to do a minimum of 21 reactions today and tomorrow. That's light work, that's not, that's not gonna be that hard. You know, it's, it's not gonna be that hard. <clears throat> and I need to do my client work as well, my drawings and all that stuff as well. So busy couple days ahead, but it's all gonna be worth it. So I can go on holiday, free-minded, not really have to think about work. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's the plan. And after we come back from London, no more vacations. Maybe in December, me and Lee might go somewhere. But no more vacations. But then again, December, I might. <laughs> no more vacations. No more. It's enough. Woo! So I've been at it since I came back from the barbers. Just been recording for the last three, three and a half hours. Also got thumbnails done and all that stuff. Edited and uploaded as well. So now it's time for me to take my break. And you know what that is? We're gonna head to the gym knock out a chest and back workout I'm not gonna go with my brother we didn't go ikea he's not feeling so well he woke up with like a stiff neck so we're gonna wait until tomorrow hopefully he'll be feel better by then if not we just have to do it when i get back from my travels uh but yeah let's head to the gym knock out this chest and back workout let's get this game So here I am back from the gym, eating on my second, well, second meal today. Yeah, I had granola in the morning with milk. That was it. I say morning, but it was like four o'clock, just before I went to the gym. So yeah, <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. But I'm eating on this meal, which is basically spinach, uh, grounded beef, rice, simple meal. But yesterday, I had a really good question on, where was it? I think it was on TikTok. I was live on TikTok and someone asked me a really good question related to fitness because obviously people are subscribed to my vlogging channel and they've also seen that I traveled recently to Istanbul. And he was like, what's, what's your best advice for traveling and being on a diet? And I was like, that's fair, that's fairly easy answer. I'm not gonna bullshit you guys, I'm not gonna try and do this, do that, no. 
if you're going on holiday there's a reason why you're going on holiday you're going on holiday to enjoy yourself aka maybe experience culture try different food all that kind of business that's the reason why you're going to a different country so trying to go there meal prep and all that stuff no if you're prepping for a competition calm i don't even know why you're traveling in the first place <laughs> you shouldn't be traveling in the first place if you're prepping for a competition because traveling just takes you out of your routine like i told you guys earlier um in previous videos when i was walking to the gym my boy i said that there um yeah if you're prepping for a competition you should not even be thinking about traveling you should be in one place sticking to that diet tracking your macro tracking your training and all that stuff so you should not be traveling if you are traveling and you're just doing this just to look good feel good then if, when you go on holiday try intermittent fasting intermittent fasting uh, will help you like contain yourself hello wifey hello. Will, <laughs> will help you contain yourself um, so you have like an eight hour window if you do 16 hours fast you have eight hours to eat around and do all that stuff when you're on holiday the reason why you're on vacation um, trying to go on holiday tracking macros using my fitness pal my friend no <laughs> We're not here for that. You know what I'm saying? We're not here for that. You, you already know what that time you booked your holiday. Before that, that's when you should have been dieting hard and everything. So when you go on holiday, the damage is not that extreme. But there's damage going to be done because you're not going to be eating the protein, fat, um, and carbs is going to be all over the place. You're not going to be hitting your protein unless you're eating nothing but shish kebab and and, and just kebab in it. And if you're eating pure meat all the time, lamb chops, all them things there maybe you hit your protein but your fats will be high your carbs will be high so you're gonna, you're gonna be over your calories you're gonna want to be an ice cube here be this there be that there um, like i went to istanbul the damage wasn't that crazy but there was damage done when i came back i weighed heavier it's sodium all that stuff you know not drinking enough water because i'm not going out there drinking i'm drinking that chai that chai tea you know what i'm saying that, that, that coffee that cappuccino lattes you know them things there um, even though i drink, drank mostly water i didn't drink, really drink fizzy drinks it was like an odd one here and there but like i said that's something else you could do to limit it avoid liquid calories if you're not one of those people that like liquid calories then you're good you're calm you know but if you're one of those ones that kind of like liquid calories when you go on holiday be careful because one drink can turn into five ten and then you're going a bit mad in it if you're a drinker as well i'm not a drinker so alcohol you know i didn't really i didn't, I didn't go near it so that's not a problem for me so yeah if you're a drinker then it might be a bit more tough because you're gonna wanna go out each night, have a couple of drinks here and there. Um, it might be tough, you know what I mean? Because I, I wasn't gonna talk about it because I can't really relate. But yeah, that's a tough one, alcohol, because all the drinks they mix and stuff, cocktails and whatnot, that's just pure calories, pure sugar. Aside from that food-wise, intermittent fasting is the best option um, if you can do that while you're on holiday, you know? Sometimes you might wake up in the morning be like, I want breakfast, I wanna try breakfast in this country then go ahead try breakfast just reduce your intermittent fasting finish but enjoy your holiday <laughs> anyway that's all i wanted to say guys you know hopefully that's helpful for you anyone that's traveling soon or holidays are coming up you know christmas is around the corner if you want to avoid binge eating and going crazy try intermittent fasting start with 12 hours then increase it to 14 16 if you can go further, then do it. If not, stick with 16. That's a nice number, eight hour window to eat. Calm. But yeah, let me finish my food before it gets cold. And I'll see you guys. The delicious food. We'll see you guys later on. Homemade from the right. Oh my Lord. Are, are you done? With the sauce that oh, my, oh, you know what I'm done. Are you done? Okay, cool.